Immigration was one of the major points in the Brexit campaigns, and we heard these arguments for and against, and all these different numbers flying around, but let's have a quick look at what immigration actually means for the UK. So immigration has been increasing, and net immigration has peaked at around 335,000 people. As we can see, immigration from the EU has been steadily increasing over the past few years, but it is important to note that non-EU migration has been for a number of years and still is higher than EU migration. One of the really important things when it comes to immigration is really looking at why people are coming to the UK. As we can see here, the majority of EU migrants are coming for work. Around 72% either have a job lined up or are looking for work. When you compare this to non-EU migrants, the figure is only around 31%, so there is a huge difference here. One reason for this though is that over 30% more migrants from outside the EU are coming to the UK to study. So when you look at the fact that you have EU migrants coming to work and non-EU migrants coming for either work or for study, migration really should be a benefit for the UK. So what are some of the effects that migrants have on the UK? One common argument is the impact migrants have on the NHS. And we found that around 25% of NHS workers are foreign nationals. So that is a huge benefit from migration. Also, EU migrants actually make a positive contribution to the government finances. When you compare this to UK citizens or non-EU migrants, the picture isn't so good. If we look at employment, we haven't been able to find a significant link between migration, employment and wages. It seems that on the whole, there is no relationship there. The fact that the economy doesn't have a finite number of jobs means that even though these migrants are coming over from different countries, it's not necessarily taking away jobs from UK citizens. What has been found is it's the lower skilled workers that lose from migration. Migrants are competing with these workers and so there has been a small reduction in employment for UK natives because of migration in this area. So where does this leave us with Brexit? I really can't see immigration falling significantly. We already have the ability to reduce the number of non-EU migrants and we haven't done this already. In terms of EU migrants, I feel that any trade deal we get with the EU will come with the attachment of the free movement of labour. So we're not going to be able to reduce migration on this front. So really there's not any area that we can significantly or will significantly reduce migration. So that was a quick look at immigration in the UK. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will have many more as fast as possible videos on various political and economic topics in the future. Feel free to leave any topics you want covered in the comments and remember to like and subscribe to see more videos.